Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nick Terrier here and today I have a very important video for you. Obviously, I haven't made much content about iOS 14, but I do have a very huge video in the works. Today, I specifically want to release this video now because we just got an alert from our Facebook rep that January 21st <laughs> of 2021, they're going to start implementing some iOS 14 updates and changes and that you need to make sure your domain is verified inside of your business manager. So with that being said, I wanted to quickly create a video for you. Obviously, I don't know the full impact of which not having a verified domain will cause, but Facebook is definitely strictly saying, hey, we highly recommend this and do this now because it will affect your results. I don't know the impact, but let's do it to be safe it's very simple and i'm going to show you that in today's video before we get started make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for new videos almost every day on this channel around facebook ads e-commerce and shopify let's get started okay guys so what you want to do is you want to go to business.facebook.com and click on the business account you use to run all of your ads so if you're an agency and this is one of your clients, your clients need to do this for themselves or you can do this for the client. Uh, just make sure it's registered in their business account. Uh, so for us, we're using one of our like dummy accounts, um, you know, create a dummy business domain and stuff like that. So um, we'll go ahead and use that for this particular video. But again, you want to make sure the client does it or if you yourself run all your ads and stuff, you need to go to your business.facebook.com and you need to make sure you verify your domain. So to do this, we're going to go right here into our business settings. And then we're going to go right here to brand safety, domains. And you can see right here, uh, this dummy account doesn't have any domains yet. So we're going to add a domain and I'm going to use one of my old domains. So you'll type in your one right here. Boom, add domain, and then give it a second. Maybe I have to load it. There we go. Okay, so as you can see right here, it says verification pending. So what you have to do is you have to upload a file to our um, your DNS settings or, or add a little text string to your DNS settings. So what you need to do is where you registered your domain at, where you purchase it, whether it's GoDaddy, Namecheap, et cetera, um, you need to go to that website. And if you use an outside source to like manage your DNS, like we do, we use Cloudflare, then you need to go to Cloudflare. But 99% of y'all probably is going to go straight to your, your Namecheap, GoDaddy, or wherever else you might have bought your domain from. Um, so we're going to go right here to our DNS right here. Uh, again, it's just an example of what it looks like. So we need to add a record. So for us, it's a text record. Um, we're going to add an at as the host field. And then we need to copy this right here. So we're going to copy the clipboard, add record. Again, it's a text record. So it's just something like a text file. Um, we're going to just put an at, then content, paste that. Then I'm going to save. There we go. That's it. That's all we had to do. And then I'm going to click on verify. Simple as that. But yeah, guys, that's very simple to register a domain. Um, and highly recommend doing this ASAP, doing this right now, because we don't know the full effects, but Facebook is very like pushing it hard um, from an outside perspective and just kind of looking at it as a whole. Brand verification, something that we've noticed has been a lot like verified domains has always performed better in terms of unverified accounts. And then on top of that is Facebook trusts his domain. So we see less like ad disruptions, um, random ad account, it's getting shut down, stuff like that. So we do see benefits of having your verified domain and correct me if I'm wrong, um, it's worth the full five minutes it takes to verify it. Highly recommend doing this right now because you could see a, a 
a possible negative effect of not doing this past January 21st of 2021. And like I said, we don't know the full effects of what iOS 14 is going to do in terms of not having a, a verified domain. But if Facebook is telling you to do this, do it now, get it done. It helps out with your brand over already. And if it's going to help out minimize the effects of iOS 14, it's worth doing this right now. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was pretty simple and straightforward to follow. If you're an e-com business owner and would like to work with me and my team and help you out in terms of like an agency helping you out and grow your ads and stuff, we scaled multiple clients now, it's multiple six figures a month. Please click the link below to book a call with us. Gladly hop on a call, help you out with everything and then we'll audit your ad account and stuff like that. It's a $250 call we do completely for free to help you out, provide you access, give you a roadmap of what you need to do to take action on to keep growing your brand. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I'm Nick Terrio, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.